Over 50,000 service members are currently deployed across the United States, working tirelessly to help protect the American people. Our National Guardsmen have helped construct nearly 150 alternate care facilities, providing over 83,000 extra beds for COVID-19 patients, while also distributing food to local communities and medical supplies to civilian hospitals. This is us helping the American people. You know, we, we've gone out, we deployed, we fought our nation's wars, but here we are in the United States, we're essentially fighting a different kind of war, um, but we are supporting the American people. And to me, that is, that's what it's all about. You know, that's what we signed up for. This thing is a threat to everyone. So uh, to be here and to be activated and deployed in order to, to fight this thing, this COVID-19 virus is, it's, it's an honor and it's a pleasure and there's nothing else I'd rather be doing at this point. Thank you. <laughs> Additionally, the Army Corps of Engineers remains very busy with more than 15,000 personnel engaged across the country. The Corps is currently constructing 25 alternate care facilities that will add a total of over 15,500 beds since March in cities such as New York City, Detroit, and Chicago. I want to especially thank and express my pride in all of our people who are on the front lines of this fight. Please take care of yourselves and please take care of one another. We will continue to remain flexible and agile as we work to defeat this invisible enemy. It will take time, but we will get through this and we will get through this together and stronger as a result.